God, that track sounded super cool. Oh, hello. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anthony Esparza and thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel to hang out with me just for a little bit. I really appreciate it as always. Before we get started with the video, I just want to let you guys know to hit the subscribe button. I want to remind you guys to do that and hit the bell button as well so you get instant notifications as soon as I drop new videos. I got a bunch of content coming up very soon and I don't want you guys to miss out. So this video is something that's been asked of me on Instagram and YouTube for quite a minute now. You guys have been asking how the Line 6 Pod Go sounds in a mix using your DAW, using Logic, Reaper, uh, Pro Tools, whatever the case might be, you guys wanted to hear how it sounds in a mix. So I went ahead and I put together a quick little one minute, minute and a half track uh, using a metal tone that I designed for my band's live rig and I ended up using it inside of a mix. What you guys are gonna hear in this video is the straight up tone that I'm gonna be using for my Bandit Father Tyrants live. Now I did do slight mixing in the master bus, but I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys what I did a little bit later on in the video. But let's go ahead, let's get into the track and then I'll explain exactly what I did in Pod Go. I hope you guys enjoyed that track. Let's go ahead, let's dig into this. I'm opening up my DAW, I'm using Reaper. So right now I'm using Reaper on my MacBook. Uh, I really, really do enjoy using uh, Reaper a lot. It's very simple. I'm not the biggest gearhead or biggest uh, software advocate uh, for music, but this really does help. This is a really great tool for songwriters. And I, if, if you're not used to working with things like Logic or Pro Tools, uh, or you're not interested in exploring those kind of DAWs, definitely check out Reaper. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. This is the main track right here. I have my uh, drums. For the drums, I basically glued together the cymbals, hats, and toms, and MT Power drum kit. Uh, the snare and kicks, I'm using the GGD Invasion, Get Good Drums Invasion, um, just because I haven't really dug too much in the Invasion to explore the cymbal side of things, and overheads, and room mics, and it's just a lot. So I basically just use a great kick tone and a snare uh, snare tone from GGD, and then I'm using the MT Power drum kit, which is a free plugin, by the way, uh, for the remainder of the cymbals and hats and toms all right so over here i got my rhythm guitar tracks uh right and left uh i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you guys in a second what that sounds like uh how they sound soloed and how much processing i did i didn't do very much uh and then my bass track i'm using the rex brown bass forge plugin from joey sturgis tones it is a great great plugin i absolutely love it it's basically my main bass uh my, my main bass plugin that i use for all my tracks all right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the track real quick for reference and then i'll get into the uh guitar tones right now All right, so that's just how it sounds with everything on it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn off the master bus effects and so you guys can hear exactly how the track sounds by itself. So this is this is uh, the right rhythm guitar, but um, I mean, I both both tracks have the same tone. So it sounds really heavy. Um, for this track, I really wanted to add more of a Swedish kind of death metal vibe to it. Uh, but this is basically going to be my tone for live use, uh, unless I come up with something better by the time California opens up to play live shows. So this is basically uh, what the tone sounds like. 
Um, and if you add everything in, let's see. So just this track. And then everything on it. So like I said, it sounds really heavy and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open up the pod go and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using under the hood. All right, so if you guys saw the last video, you probably kind of have an idea of what I'm doing, but I kind of changed up the tone a little bit since the last video. Uh, if you guys wanna go back and check that out, go ahead, hit this little button right here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using. So the preamp I'm using is the Angle Meteor. Um, the angle is basically an angle. I have my drive at 6.8, bass at 7.7. .7. If you guys want to screenshot this to use it for your own, uh, your own rig, go right ahead. I have no problems with that. Uh, my mids are at 5.0 and my trebles at 7.5. So pretty much the bass and the trebles are around the same area. Mind you, I'm also using a 5150 for live use and sometimes I'll add the drive in the 5150 to boost the signal a little bit. So that's why I have the bass and the treble a little higher than the mids. Normally I utilize the mid tones. Uh, my mid boost is on, which is why the mids uh, sound really good on there. Uh, the volume is all the way up, masters all the way up. Um, I see the sags at 5.2 and the hums at 1.1. So this is basically what I'm using. For the preamp cab, I'm using a 4x12 XXL V30. Um, this is basically probably my favorite one so far in the pod go. I'm using a 409 dynamic microphone. Uh, the distance is at a 2.0. Uh, low cuts at 80 hertz, high cuts at 8.5 hertz, um, no early reflections, and level is pretty much leveled at zero. So for my noise gate, I'm so for my noise gate, I have the threshold at 63.0, close threshold at 5.0, uh, 1010 for whole time and DK, and my levels at zero. And for my EQ, I'm using the CaliQ EQ. Uh, go ahead and dig into that. I don't know why I have this off right here. Uh, it's at 80 hertz, and everything else is just about leveled, um, just to help shape the tone a lot more. And this is basically what I'm using for this. And I'm also gonna dig through a couple other things real quick, just so you guys can uh, understand exactly what I did in the track. I'm gonna turn the effects on the master bus off. Okay. And I'm gonna turn it on. So it has uh, more of a live feel to it. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys what I have. So this is just on the master track. Uh, I have, uh, the exciter stereo enhancer, digital versatile compressor, event horizon limiter clipper, and the master limiter. All these are on in the master effect. Um, everything sounds really good. I mean, just adding these, uh, this, I got these from a Glenn Fricker video. So, uh, shout out to Glenn Fricker. If you guys are a fan, go ahead and check out Spectre studios on YouTube. And yeah, so that's basically the track one more time. And also just to show you guys how the master track effects affect the uh, rhythm tracks. This is with it on. All right, so that's my track. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun putting it together. As always, I have a lot of fun putting together these little Line 6 Pod Go videos. It's a great pedal. There's a lot of opportunities here, and I'm telling you guys, if you guys are interested in purchasing this product, get on it. This is a great asset for my live rig, and obviously now for recording. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be using this pedal for official recording purposes, but I'm really digging the rhythm tones that I have set up for my live rig, and it sounds pretty good in the mix. Upcoming videos are going to include me digging into more lead tones, ambient tones, some more different kinds of tones, exploring the opportunities that the Podgo presents. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you guys don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You'll get instant notifications once I drop new videos. Obviously, I'm going to...
obviously i'm going to be moving forward with more diverse content i'm going to be showing you guys some more uh recording software that i use i'm going to be doing more little cover videos and i'm also going to be doing more vlogs as well for this channel so you guys don't want to miss out obviously i need to diversify my content because i can't just do line six podgo videos all the time but i do have a bunch of ideas to share with you guys very very soon i'll catch you guys later and keep it heavy